In this video, we will see a problem on Norotan's theorem. If you want to buy my notes, then check the link in the comment section and install the app now. Question: Find the current in branch AB of the circuit shown in figure using Norotan's theorem. Now here for this circuit, we have to find the value of this current, the current through this branch 10 ohm resistor by using Norotan's theorem. Solution. So first of all, here we can see in this circuit, this 10 ohm will be our load resistor. So here we can write RL is equal to 10 ohm. Now for Norton's theorem or Norton's equivalent circuit, we need the value of RN. And also we need the value of IN. Norton's resistance and Norton's current. Here currently we have the value of this RL that is load resistor. Now let's find the value of RN and IN. So first of all let's find the value of Norton's resistance. So to find to find RN what we will do we will remove remove RL and turn off all independent sources. Turn off all independent sources. So let's remove RL and let's turn off all the independent sources. Now here we can see this is a 6 volt voltage source and when we turn off a voltage source that time we have to replace it by a short circuit. Again there is one more voltage source so let's replace it by a short circuit. Now if we find the resistance between these two terminals, then it will be our Norton's resistance Rn. Now here we can clearly see this 15 ohm and this 5 ohm are connected in parallel. So 15 ohm parallel with 5 ohm. It will be 15 into 5 divided by 15 plus 5. So if we solve this in calculator, it will be 15 into 5 divided by 15 plus 5 that is 3.75 ohm then this 8 ohm and 8 ohm are connected in parallel so again 8 ohm parallel with 8 ohm it will be 8 into 8 divided by 8 plus 8 so it will be simply 4 ohm now again we can copy this circuit from here And we can replace these two resistance by a single resistance value of 3.75 ohm. 3.75 ohm. And here we can replace these two resistance 8 ohm parallel with 8 ohm. We can replace this by a single resistance of 4 ohm. Now here we can clearly see this 3.75 and this 4 ohm are connected in series. So therefore Rn is equal to 4 plus 3.75. So here 4 plus 3.75 it is equal to 7.75 ohm. Now this is the value of Norton's resistance Rn. Now next we have to find the value of Norton's current In. So let's find the value of In. So to find In what we will do, we will remove remove RL and short circuit short circuit terminals let's take this circuit from here again let's copy this and paste it here now we have to remove this RL and we have to make short circuit here and let's say this current is current IN. Now we have to find this current IN. Now to find this current IN, let's use mesh analysis. So let's say this is mesh number 1 with current I1. This is mesh number 2 with current I2 and this is mesh number 3 with current I3. 
so according to the direction of this current it will be positive this will be negative it will be positive it will be negative according to the direction of this current it will be positive negative positive negative according to the direction of this current i3 it will be positive negative positive negative so now let's apply kvl to mesh number 1 so apply kvl to mesh number 1 now according to kvl let's say we are starting from here so it will be minus 6 then plus 15 plus 15 into i1 then plus 5 in bracket i1 minus i2 is equal to 0 now let's simplify this so it will be minus 6 plus 15 i1 then plus 5 i1 minus 5 i2 is equal to 0 now here it will be 15 plus 5 it will be 20 i1 minus 5 i2 is equal to if we take this on right side so it will be plus 6 let's say this is equation number 1 now similarly we will apply kvl to mesh number 2 so let's apply kvl to mesh number 2 now here let's say we are starting from this point so it will be plus 5 i2 minus i1 plus 5 i2 minus i1 then plus 8 i2 minus i3 plus 8 i2 minus i3 now here the loop is completed so it is equal to 0 now let's simplify this so it will be 5 i2 minus 5 i1 then plus 8 i2 minus 8 i3 is equal to 0 now here we can take this i1 term first so it will be minus 5 i1 then we can take i2 term common so i2 in bracket 5 plus 8 so 5 plus 8 it will be 13 so here we can write 13 i2 directly 13 i2 and then this minus 8 i3 it is equal to 0 now let's say this is equation number 2 now similarly we will apply kvl to mesh number 3 so let's apply kvl to mesh number 3 now let's say we are starting from this point so it will be plus 8 i3 minus i2 plus 8 i3 minus i2 then plus 8 i3 plus 8 i3 then plus 6 is equal to 0 plus 6 is equal to 0 let's simplify this so 8 i3 minus 8 i2 plus 8 i3 plus 6 is equal to 0 we can write i1 term i2 term first so it will be minus 8 i2 then this will be 8 plus 8 16 so plus 16 i3 now it is equal to if we take this 6 on right side so it will be minus 6 let's say this is equation number 3 now we, ha we have 3 equations so solving solving equation equation 1 2 and 3 so if we solve 1 2 and 3 we get the value of i1 i2 and i3 so let's put these values in calculator so we have to press mode then 5 then equation number 2 because there are three variables so it will be 20 then for i2 it will be minus 5 then for i3 it is 0 constant term is 6 now similarly for equation number 2 it will be minus 5 then 13 then minus 8 then 0 then from equation 3 we can write minus 8 16 then 
for equation 3 the i1 term is 0 so first we have to take 0 then for i2 minus 8 then for i3 16 then the constant term is minus 6 now this is correct now the value of i1 is 0 0.251 ampere the value of i2 is minus 0. Point, minus 0 0.193 1935 ampere and the value for i3 is minus 0 0.471 minus 0 0.471 ampere now here we have to find the value of i n and here we can see i n is equal to i2 i n is equal to i2 so therefore i n is equal to i2 is equal to minus 0 0.1935 ampere minus 0 0.1935 ampere this is the value of i n now we got the value of norton's current i n and we also got the value of norton's resistance r n so let's draw the norton's equivalent circuit so there will be a current source like this and there will be a resistance parallel to this and there will be a one more resistor RL this is RL this is Norton's resistance RN and this is Norton's current IN now the value of IN is minus 0 0.1935 the value of RN is Norton's resistance value is 7.75 7.75 ohm and the value of RL RL is 10 ohm so it is 10 ohm and we have to find this current IL the formula to calculate IL is IN multiplied with RN divided by RN plus RL so let's put the value of IN it is minus 0 0.1935 into Rn value is 7.75 again Rn value is 7.75 plus Rl value is 10 now if we solve this we get the value of Il so let's solve this in calculator it will be minus 0 0.1935 minus 0 0.1935 into 7.75 divided by 7.75 plus 10 so it is equal to minus 0 0.084 minus 0 0.084 4 ampere or we can write IL is equal to minus 0 point minus 84.4 milli ampere here we can see if we click this button then minus 84.48 into 10 to the power minus 3 means milli ampere so this is how we can find the value of current by using Norton's theorem don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching